Wynne Davis is conducting the Irish Chamber Orchestra and Opera Collective for the Irish premiere of Jonathan Dove's sparkling opera, Flight. Today, I managed to catch up with him at the very start of the rehearsal period, and I wanted to find out a bit about, obviously, how it's going, but also, what is it like putting all the elements together that make an opera? <laughs> Well, it depends slightly whether you are the musical director of the opera company, in which case you, you get to choose the opera, choose the director, the conductor and the singers. So that starts a long time, maybe many years sometimes, before you actually get uh -huh. to do it. Um, I was asked to do this one about a year ago by Colette McGahan, who runs Opera Collective Ireland. And uh, I came... I was invited, and I was very happy to come to listen to the auditions for it, which were about nine months ago. Then everybody went off and did their homework. Then the production rehearsals with the director begin, and that's the bit that I enjoy the most, actually, because you get the energy of all these people in the room, you know, the people that TV executives call the talent. There they all are. Uh, including the director, designer, lighting designer and the singers and we all meet together and work out how to do it. Um, uh, the later stages, I mean I usually don't get to meet the orchestra until maybe a few days before the performance and then there are the rehearsals in the theatre. Um, usually there's quite a time restriction on that so it's not as relaxed as being in the rehearsal room in the production room with the singers and the director where you have more time to work things out so that can be a little tense depending on the situation uh, the, the the day or two before the performance then of course the performances are enjoyable um, and because there's no director there to interrupt you no I didn't say that um, you know uh, 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 and, uh, and, of course, you get the extra buzz of the audience and the audience's reaction to it. But I, I think the production rehearsal, for me, is, is what makes the fun of it. So, Flight, it's a fairly modern opera. Um, now, I have to kind of ask this, really. A modern opera, it has the potential to put people off coming just by the sheer fact that it was written so recently. And I wonder... What is it that you find so exciting about this music? And also, something could you say something that would be interesting to the audience that would make them think, yeah, you know what, I'm going to go and see that? OK, uh, well, let's do the audience bit first, because they're the most important people, really. Audiences find flight fun. Um, it is funny. They also find it touching, um, affecting, um, um, there are areas of it that go towards the tragic, although nobody actually dies, none of the characters die in it, but it's, some of it's quite moving, and ultimately it's very exhilarating. Um, and audiences find it, I'm not quite sure how Jonathan Dove has managed this, they find it very accessible and I'd say easy to listen to because it's not the easy music for us, the practitioners. Um, that's really part of the magic of Jonathan Dove. He's written something that is very absorbing for the performers and also quite easily accessible for the audience. Um, so it's, it's, it is a kind of magic composer's act. And I mean, I had a message just a few days ago from um, an opera practitioner, a chap who runs Scottish opera, who said, glad to hear her in Dublin doing flight. In my opinion, it's a 20th century masterpiece. He went as far as that. Um, I mean, that that's a, a, a big claim. Puts it up there with Beggs, Wozzeck or Peter Grimes or something. I mean, I don't think even Jonathan Dove would say that. But it is, in, in terms of being an ensemble opera... And it is very much an ensemble opera. Everybody's on together virtually all the time. Uh, it's a very successful piece of theatre. And both the composer and the librettist have done a great job on it. It's a little bit like listening to a play that's being sung. It's a kind of dialogue, the interplay between the characters is very natural. And uh, the situations are natural. I mean, the basic setup is that there's a refugee who lives in an airport 
uh, which is based on a true story. But April De Angelis, the librettist, has expanded on that. And there is a group of members of the public who have to stay in an airport terminal overnight because there's a storm and they can't fly the planes. So we, the audience, get to know the feelings of these individual characters, their lives, how they're getting on, and that's the bit that the audience really relates to, you know, because you've got one girl who's um, got a boyfriend that she wants to meet and is waiting for, and we are not quite sure whether she really has this boyfriend or not. So another married couple who are working out some areas of difficulty in their marriage. I don't want to give too much away here. There's another person who is uh, a pregnant lady who is apprehensive about having a baby, all these kinds of things that are natural things that people can relate to, and they're all expressed in the words and the music. And uh, I think that's really why it's been a success with audiences. You know, they absolutely understand the situations and relate to them. As you say, Jonathan Dove's magic as a composer, he manages to make it sound really easy. But I know because I, I've played some of Jonathan Dove's music, it's far from easy. When you listen to it, what do you think it is that gives that sense, that kind of space that just makes it sound as if it's the most easy thing in the world? Well, I, I think that I mean, he writes quite complicated rhythms. Um, but the point about the rhythm is it's always absolutely directly related to the natural way you'd say those words. A bit like Janacek's music is related to the way uh, the Czech language works. So it always sounds natural, even though when you see it written down on the page, it looks uh, very complicated. Um, but then the way we speak is in fits and starts, as I'm speaking now. You know, it's not four beats in a bar. So uh, I think that's the reason it comes across as easy, because it does relate to natural speech rhythms. Um, also, he has the ability to take an idea and soar with it. So, I mean, li quite literally soar in some cases, because uh, when the plane takes off in this piece, the music takes off too, and he's, he's such a brilliant orchestral colorist that you get that feeling. When the last question I want to ask you, you sort of touched on a little bit earlier about the idea that the audience will possibly relate to each of one, one or some of the characters in the story. But I'm interested to know, how, how do you think people will feel at the end of the performance? Well, I, I think they'll feel that wasn't very difficult, was it? <laughs> you know, you get, there, naturally there's a bit of apprehension about a modern piece. I mean, it's only 25 years old, this piece. Um, uh, and, you know, people sometimes think, oh, if I go to this Benjamin Britten opera, uh, will I be able to understand it? This is an easy opera to understand. And I think they will feel entertained because it's fun, but they'll also feel touched and quite exhilarated when they come out. Wynne, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me this morning and I'm very much looking forward to starting work on this project with you. Thank you very much. See you soon.